this is the landing page of node excel now node excel is intended for users with little or no programming experience to analyze and visualize different types of networks it requires a very, it requires very little learning curve node excel is open source and integrates with excel which makes it very easy to use there is no separate application required as such it leverages excel to do network analysis the data in node excel can be entered manually or directly imported from a variety of networks such as twitter flickr youtube and other third party social networks in comparison to other visualization packages available for example gephi node excel has a slight edge for example uh, node excel has more options to import data from whereas gephi has limited options there are five tabs on the node excel worksheet they are edges vertices groups group vertices and overall metrics the node excel ribbon in the menu on excel is just like any other ribbon found in microsoft excel the only way it differs is from the others is that it is used for network analysis so let's begin by entering some data So we have entered the names of some friends in Vertex 1 and Vertex 2. Um, these form the the relationship between two vertexes form the edges. Now the graph can be directed or undirected. In this sample data, uh, it is assumed that the relationships are undirected. Anne is a friend of Bob and Bob is a friend of Anne. Highlighting um, now coming to the graph pane and I click on the show graph button um, The data will be visualized in the graph pane Once we click on any of the workbook rows to highlight the Corresponding edge the two vertices will be highlighted in the graph We can even click on multiple rows and all related edges and vertices will be highlighted node excel also offers several automatic layouts that can be selected in the graph pane the default layout type for node excel is called proctorman rheingold in our example of the friendship network the proctorman rheingold is not particularly useful as it includes unnecessary edge crossings uh, which is the times when two edges cross one another edge crossings can sort of make it harder to track connections between vertices and should be try to be minimized let's choose another layout there you go uh, experimenting with different layout types can reveal useful patterns relationships or unusual features in the data set being analyzed let's play around more with the graph uh, clicking on graph uh, options will give you um, choices to control the graphs appearance let's change the width of the edges to 3 let's change the vertices size to 3 also we can also change the color to anything you want let's take green bra green
now when we clicked on one of the vertices it was highlighted in green coming to the graph types as i said earlier the graph the default graph type is undirected which means the relationship between vertex 1 and vertex 2 is symmetric in this particular example um, if Anne is a friend of Bob, Bob is also a friend of Anne. This is shown in the graph pane as an edge connecting Anne and Bob. The Node XL ribbon allows you to specify the graph type as uh, directed or undirected. In the case of directed, it means that the relationships go only in one direction. For in this particular example, the relationship might be that Anne invited Bob to a party. In this case, knowing who extended the invitation is important. For directed graphs, vertex 1 is the source and vertex 2 is the destination. Um, in directed graphs, an arrow will be shown leading to the destination vertex. Let's change the type to directed and refresh the graph there you go now you can see um, the vertex 1 is the source and vertex 2 is the destination let's highlight the two vertexes over here now we can see that Anne extended the invitation to Bob